Guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNA's Organite Creations. Now, with this one here, this video is going to be uh, well, like this how my little face is up there. We're going to be on Facebook, we're going to be checking out Organite, we're going to be seeing what you what you need to look for if you want good organite, okay? You don't have to buy from us, but if you if you know what we're doing here, you've seen uh, on this YouTube channel what we're doing, or even on Facebook, we've got a Facebook group. Um, it's all in the description, even to our Etsy shop as well. Um, but if you've seen what we're doing, we're testing, we, we're showing great effects, um, and our stuff works versus the typical organite 50-50 mix. Um, it doesn't work. All right, it doesn't work. There's reasons for that. Large chunk of metals, large pieces of metals have bugger all effect. They say who's on that team or whatever, who's in associated with all that stuff. Um, they say it has more range and greater effect and all that. It doesn't. It does not, okay? Just because if you Google it, how to make it and what it does and all the rest of it, the first few pages are just going to be all this stuff. The 50-50 typical make this is how it's supposed to be made. Don't use powdered materials. It doesn't work. It's all BS. All right. And we can go ahead and look at the previous videos, the lemon tests, stuff like that. We're going to be doing other tests, different tests. And right now, you see on the screen, I'm in this Tensor Ring group, Tensor Technology, whatever. There's Organite in there. So what we're going to do uh, is just go ahead and type in Organite. Uh, there so more organite related things pop up all right so and we're going to just suss it out because any this is all for the public or whatever you can all you can go ahead and join this group um our group is only small and it just started so it's just small but i was sick of getting like i've been blocked and kicked off a few things not for being an asshole or anything but more questioning and what testing the typical freeze test and the eem eemf meters that's it's, it's crap. There's no way to test, okay? Um, it's really not. All right. So I'm going to get probably a lot of haters or whatever, but if you want to keep it real, if you want truth, um, then pay attention. Listen. All right? Because I'm not here to bullshit around. But let's get into just this. So this is um, the first thing that's come up on this Tensor um, page uh, group. And I've typed in Organite, okay, it's the first thing that's popped up. So you can get to see who it's from, like anyone can see this, Organite Creations Australia. We're in Australia. We're S&A's Organite Creations, but we have nothing to do with this. So people might get it confused, but this is not our work, that's for sure. Um, and straight away, you can see, um, like, see this, large chunks of metals everywhere, all right? There's just, uh, just everywhere, big pieces, all right? You don't, you don't want that. If you want to... Um, Basically, if if you need a shit ton more, you'd need a whole bucket. Like, forget this pyramid. I'm sure it's a decent size and like You'd need a whole bucket full of uh, larger pieces of metal shaving to equal something that's small, like this, all right, or one of our pocket pieces, okay? Um, this is next level. I don't care what people say or whatever, or how it should or should it be made. This stuff here, testing it um, from sprouting, growing um, a plant from a seed, Versus control, something like this, would have a profound effect. Something like what we're seeing here on the screen. Uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, battery's getting low, but we'll be right. Oh, let's just, oops. Let's stop. Get rid of that. Move you over there. All right. Let's just keep scrolling now. There's a couple of things that what I've posted recently. Powered devices. We're going to be doing more of them. Um, they just take a long time to make, to wire it all up, and do lots of stuff. There's a lot involved in producing something like this. There's going to be more coming. Um, I plan to keep making them, but the thing is, they just sell. All right. They sell, and I can't produce heaps of them. But so uh, another thing, because this is a tensor channel, right? Um, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be testing as well tensor rings, uh, maybe our triskelions as well, because we cut them in a specific measurement, not exactly tensor, but um, yeah, it's got that for the measurements they use um, as well. But tensor rings, it'll be very interesting. Tensor rings versus our organite, or just a triskelion copper coil versus control, whatever. There's many things you can do. All right, so let's just keep going here. Let's just have a good look. So things like this, you've got the crystal in there uh, with the tensor 
Well, it's not a ring, it's a tensor length, twisted copper wire, it should be at a specific length. The length needs to be very accurate, as accurate as possible for it to work. But then you've got larger pieces of like brass. When you see larger pieces, don't buy it, people. Um, let's have a look, what's this? Um, in the silver there, you get to see like this, that, that would just be most likely a colour. And then you get to see large chunks of aluminium, they've got a little bit of maybe copper leaf. In there, I don't know if the brown's color or not, but tensoring in the bottom there. Just like Organite is not created equal, it really isn't, all right? Um, tensoring's also not created uh, equal, all right? You have to be very specific. A lot of people can get a piece of wire, fold it in half, twist that up, cut it at a length, uh, weld it together, like um, or solder it together, or however you want to attach it. There's specific ways um, to do it and all the rest of it. And like we could do that. I fully understand that. I've researched that. We just never pursued it. <clears throat> Cause I don't I don't know if it's fully necessary. They probably have their place. We're gonna test it. They definitely have their place. But for organite, like this here, for instance, you get to see um, you got lots of tense rings. Yeah, that looks cool, dude. All the copper around the outside, large pieces. You're only making weak stuff like this pyramid wouldn't be very strong um, just by looking at it you can tell all right now for instance for a pendant right if you've got a pendant and you're putting in these large oh that's just dangling spinning i was like what is that bubble on the on the wire but it's the organized spinning around all right um these um all going to amplifiers. Well, I would need to do my own testing, but I don't know if the, they claim theirs go, depending on what model, kilometers or miles, like like 20 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles, 100 mile radius. Really? Really? And how do they test that? They claim something like, because um, they go up in the mountains to test it with them. The, the one person's heat's far away. They've got a device over there. And they freeze test water over on this mountain or whatever, or over in this valley or whatever they say. And it structures water. It structures water because they do a freeze test of it from that distance and you get to see structure. No. 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 Just no. Okay. Quarry in somewhere in Pakenham 20 years ago. That's cool, uh, Smoky Quartz Crystal. Beautiful. You want to... Um, like that in the ground that hasn't been cut just crush that one up just crush it up like powder it looks like a pyramid it's a way to go all right pendant tensor cool but as for organite see on the back of that how he's flipping it around it's just loaded with chunky stuff um that's not good um this here yeah no so you got all that's color obviously the black the red the yellow that's all color you got large chunks of copper that's a small little tiny pocket piece or a pendant size like this would blow that out of the water. I'm telling you now, I'm just, I just know what, what we're doing here. What else do you have? I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Um, like the pendant there, like just no, just no. And this thing, the pocket piece, I mean, the tower bust or whatever, that's, I guess it's gold leaf foil. It's probably the fake stuff by looking at that. Doesn't look like the real stuff to me. We use real 24 karat gold in here. Um, not like this, not in this form, whatever that is. And then they've got like long needle white bits in it. Aluminium. I mean, black's just probably a color. Don't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Things like this as well. But it looks cool, right? <clears throat> It looks damn cool. Uh, you got these copper pipe tubes. I mean, if that was me, me being me, I would sand those pipes off. See that blue writing down there? See that blue writing? I'd get rid of that. I'd sand it, polish it. That would be banging. That'd be so shiny. Um, all the aluminium chunks or swarfed or whatever they call it, it's, it is garbage. It's junk. It's going to be very weak at best. Um, you got tensor ring at, at the bottom by it looks it looks like um yeah this configuration does that have a good a beneficial effect well i don't know but the organite side of things is not good all right um same deal with that see the size of that 
as well. I guarantee you this would have way better effect. And you have a better effect, you know, because you know um, you want this stuff to give off a beneficial life-giving um, structuring effect, right? Organ life force energy, right? Like this. Um, that's crap. <laughs> it looks like it's like this much clear, which is just not necessary, or more um, at the top. But yeah, so what's supposed to happen with organite? So it's supposed to be attracting, accumulating um, energy. Be it good or bad, whatever. The bad stuff is supposed to transmute because you've got the crystals in it and that's their job. They're an oscillator or a transducer. It can take one form of energy and convert it into another because crystal is natural. It has a natural energy. It's a lower frequency. Um, that's part of its job, right? So we know this. Um, but from what I've tested... With this sort of stuff here that we're looking at, typical 50-50 ratios and all the rest of it, doesn't work. doesn't work. If it was throwing out a beneficial life-giving field, then it would have structuring properties and uh, um, healing properties and stuff like that. It's beneficial for life, anything living. So that'd be plants, microbes, like beneficial microbes, animals, like if you're fermenting and stuff like animals, us um growing things and like yeah you're preserving your fruits and vegetables because that's all life affirming energy right and that's why we see when we test it against a lemon we get the same lemon we cut it in half or in quarters depending on how many tests you want to set up and one and that there will stay extremely firm as if you picked it off the tree how firm it is um, it'll stay that firm the skin won't mold at all there's a little bit of mold, tiny bit of mold when you cut it and it's got the fleshy bit because it's the fruit, right? A little bit of mold, but the control is is completely squishy. It's um completely covered in mold. The skin's covered in mold. It's terrible. It's shrinking. It's decaying and rotting, dying. All right. So and that's what happens when you have this stuff here that we're watching. All right. So that's this stuff here. Um, let's. You can see what it's made of, whatever. And I think aluminium shavings, yeah, of course. But I think people just read what they read. They learn what they learn from the old Google. Most people are doing videos with this stuff saying this is how it should be made. You test it. Does it work? No. Because it would it would otherwise preserve, preserve that lemon uh, much more greater than what we're doing here, okay? And I can say and I can argue that we do have a um, hundred plus ingredients in our stuff. All right. Things like this, that, that looks cool. That looks cool, man. Wow, eye-catching. But it's like got aluminium in it, the, like shavings and stuff like that. Yes, you got a coil, you got a tensor tools, you got whatever. Like I say, we're going to be testing these tensor tools. I have a few available in my arsenal. <clears throat> With the particular piece that I... <clears throat> got from facebook from a person that's from a person that um um that makes this stuff you can see they make tensor rings and stuff like this um that organite that specific one um i got from this particular person that do tensor rings he's a master i guess Dowser or whatever he calls himself i don't know he's really Got 20, 30 plus years, been making this stuff, been doing the dowsing on the bovis scale and la 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 la. <clears throat> That's the stuff I'm testing. He's got a tensor ring. Um, he sent me a tensor ring too. Well, they did. All right. So, another one of these star things. <clears throat> wow. That clear layer that's like massive, that is not necessary and it does nothing. I don't understand why you'd even make it like that. You don't need to do it like that at all. Because you can put... I'm not even going to say. I'm not even going to suggest. I can get into how we do it and how I would do that to make it better for one. Because look how thick the whole thing is. It's, it's really thick. That clear is not ne necessary. Those crystals are suspended in just the resin in nothingness where they could be half embedded within the organite matrix making it better okay so i'm just little mini tower buster i mean uh 
Cloudbuster or whatever it looks like. Got the old AccuVac coil and stuff like that in the center of that tube. That's what it looks like in, in this one here, the middle one. This one's different, okay, they're different ones. Got a dome. Domes have supposedly a good effect. We've got a couple of domes as well that no one's seen. Um, that's a cool, nice coil there, the SBB. It looks nice. Um, pyramids. Now, pyramids, guys, boy, do we get um, messages about pyramids. Um, you guys wanted them. They're so popular. We don't have... We will get back into making pyramids again, though. The way we got to make them, we're very, very specific. Um, and I think you can tell that there's a lot of time and effort and the whole process. <clears throat> we're extremely doing it completely different than this, what you're seeing here. By the way, what you're seeing here is complete junk. All right. The large pieces of metal, the typical 50-50. A lot of groups, they, don't, they say that we won't, they don't even, like admin won't even allow your post to go through if it's not 50-50 large chunks metals um the typical mix they say that right they say that we won't even post it because you know you put up something and it's got to be confirmed by admin a lot of the stuff that i try to post or whatever um just not to be an asshole like i'm being a little bit now like picking on this stuff but it's because what i'm saying is true test it yourself verify it yourself you can get something like this that you're seeing on screen. You can get something like what we've got. Buy it from us if you want. Um, a small, cheapest thing, whatever. A pendant, whatever. Test it against it. We'll go head to head with something this large. With something small. And see. This, this is from us. This is me. I've put this up. This is just some pendants. They're not finished. They're straight out of the mold. So they're looking a bit rough. They get fully polished up. Necklace cord attached and you're good to go and you're banging because this stuff here will greatly affect plant growth, will greatly um, reduce the effects of rot, it'll preserve the foods, it'll structure the water. The energy field that is coming off of this, our stuff, is a very structuring, beneficial, life-confirming field of energy. Call it what you want, chi, prana. Uh, zero point energy, energy, tachyon energy, bloody torsion fields, torsion waves, scalar waves, scalar fields, orgone, orgone field, whatever. <clears throat> All right. It's beneficial life. It's beneficial life giving energy. Okay. More of this stuff. All right. So just know that's kind of cool though, I guess. Uh, Mobius coil, I've never done these <clears throat> because <coughs> you've got the Mobius coil, you've got different other versions of coils and stuff like that. But where it's at, the coil is the rodent coil. The rodent coil is eaten a bit. If I ha if you had to pick a coil to make, that's the most beneficial. Why well, go backwards? Rodent coils. All right. But these are cool still too. Do they work? There'll be upcoming videos. All right. This year, charge plays just from, yeah, it is. Um, look at all the aluminium. We know that doesn't work. We've tested it. Doesn't work. The typical mix, loaded with alloy, whatever, quartz crystal in it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. That's massive. It's probably pretty weighty. Um, I don't know what the price would be. Or anything like that. But if you want something like that because it looks cool, great. If you want it to work, don't buy this. All right. Um, something like this. Donut in the bottom. See, like, what is even in there? Why is it partly sort of see-through? You can sort of see uh, the tips chipped off too. Bugger. Don't you hate it when that happens? But yeah. All right. This is what people do. Okay. So right, this is the making process. Check this out. This is what I'm going to get into too. So they've obviously cool. They've made the configuration, whatever that is. They've put it in the mold. Um, all right. So it's in the pyramid mold. They're starting to chuck in all the metals. And then they layer more metals. And then they'll put some crystals in there. All right. 
And then they put more metals in there. And then they've put other stuff in there. Right? You, do you see what I'm doing? Right. Loaded with metals. Now what, what do they do? Pull resin in there. Can you can you tell me what's all the metal doing? Are they all touching or are they, or are they all touching? Yes, they're all touching. So if they're all touching each other, you pour the resin. Where's the layers? There's not layers. It's acting like one piece of metal. Or, or not many, if any. You know what I mean? Like, it's all connected. Um, yes, all the resin seats all in between. But all the metal is already... It's heavy enough. The larger chunks, they're heavy. Heavier than just a speck of dust. They're, they're touching. All right? Now you pull resin and it just seeps through. And they say, that's what people are doing. And it's not working. All right? It's not working. Excuse me. And we're back. All right, so I had to attend to my daughter banging out the door. But that is what it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, so let's have a, another look. So we just... Hi, it's Kelly here. And this video... This guy, I've seen this guy. He's, if he's you're, quite... If you make ordinate, he's quite cool, quite quirky. How you can tame a hurricane, or at least help, can help to tame it, slow it down. It's vitally important because five mile, <clears throat> a five mile reduction in a hurricane can cut in half the amount of property damage. Of course. And likewise, it would probably... Yes, um, just there is manipulation of the weather. That's just confirmed. Harp and all the rest of it. That, there's no joke. There is tools. Um, uh, look at Ken Roller's work. He's got... Uh, well, we've got one of... We've got his some of his stuff. We've got his rest shield. Um, for the home, it's a pyramid device, power device, uh, pulses at the shin resonance, produces a scalar field, 20 foot radius, uh, permeates through all walls and stuff like that. Helps plant growth, helps you get into a, a better relaxed state, uh, more calmer and stuff like that. Good for sleep. All right, so that's that. But he's got home shield, which does those organ amplifiers, those things that I was telling you about, the electronic thing that they say they do miles and miles and they know they work because of their um, freeze testing miles away, you know, structures of water or whatever by freeze test. There's no way to do it. But um, Ken's work, he's got a home shield and his, if anyone's going to um, produce a massive field radius with a device, I do trust Ken Roller. Uh, so he has claimed, and he has, that he's stopped hurricanes and, and that sort of stuff. He lives on... Um, is it California, I think, somewhere? Is it Daytona Beach or somewhere area? I don't know. He's on the coast somewhere, and he's, he claims that he's deflected it, and he's seen these things manifest, um, like it's coming, and, and it's like a freak freak sort of a, a thing, and it didn't reach. It was, gonna, it was scheduled or whatever to go straight through, but he's played around with his device. I think it was early on when he was creating them and just had them go on to see the effects, and he changed it. All right, and he had his powered devices gone. All right, so that's something, but um, he does claim that they go quite far, and I trust that. So with that old guy, what he was saying, um, you can do energetics and stuff like that, have devices, and they can, because it's all about balancing and structuring, balancing this, uh, the weather patterns and all the rest of it. This stems off the work of Wilhelm Reich and what he was doing with the cloud busters, all right? Uh, bringing balance to it, bringing rain. He did this on many occasions, bring rain to um, where it's been droughts and that. He said that he can bring rain and they go, if we do, we'll pay you. And he did. And he bought rain time and time again. FDA calm, all the rest of it. There's a big story, you know, and they just squashed him and made him look like a quack where he's actually a genius and he's figured it out. Powers that be that run the show don't want this stuff out. That's the thing. Now, powers that be run the show, media, whatever, what the news is, what's in front of your face, what they want you to believe, what they want you to do, distractions are everywhere, all your sports and stuff, whatever you're into, that's cool. It's cool, whatever. Understanding what's actually going on behind the scenes is another thing. You can wake up. But makes you think, why is all this stuff pushed if it doesn't work with your 50-50 typical organite mix, right? I know it doesn't work. It's heavily pushed, and it's probably um, part of the um, agenda sort of thing. You promote this stuff, you let people run with it, and once people have grabbed it, they run with it, and they go, this is how it's supposed to be made, and all the rest of it. 
if it's decaying fruits faster than a control or worse off than a control or on par with a control like it's not even there then it's not working ours slowed down the um decaying rate you know so greatly actually stayed firm wasn't mushy or anything um like pendants like this are the little i think they're little lego molds you can see the little dimples on them or whatever they look like lego pieces i wonder if they stack too but what I'm getting at is with this, you get to see, check that out, like large pieces of metal in there. See all that alloy? And maybe there's bits of brass or copper in this one, for instance. Like, If you want a pendant, that's not going to do... It's not even... I was going to say in my opinion. It's not even an opinion. I know that's not going to work. Like, it needs to be metal, it needs to be large, 50-50 mix. That's what that is, and I'm telling you, that stuff does not work, okay? Is this that old guy? No. That old guy before about um, hurricanes or whatever he's saying about the weather. He spins a lot of stuff like this, like pyramids or M larger MWI antennas and stuff like that. He's all about spinning stuff. He's fun, fun to watch, I guess. Yeah. So this is what you want to avoid. So this is what this video is about. I'm pointing it all out. This stuff is literally everywhere. You've got the fake organite that's heavily produced in India. They do pyramids. Yeah, yeah, pretty stuff, pretty decor. If you want that as, as decor and not as an organite device that's going to actually do something, so don't get it. You get it for decor, do you get it for something that's art, pretty, just as a present because they're cheap. People buy them. You can buy them by the hundreds for literally like $2 each, $3 each. And then they sell them for 50 or higher. All right. Now, if that's not a large profit, then I don't know what is. All right. So be aware of that. Now, this stuff that's everywhere, the actual organite that they say um, works and stuff, like what we're looking at on, on the screen here, um, this is the stuff that you want to stay away from too. It doesn't work. We've tested it. We know. I bet these people wouldn't bloody test it like what I do. People, if you're watching and you make this stuff, you do you whatever I don't care it's the fact that drives my gears is saying that they claim that this stuff works and this is how it should needs to be made and we're not interested in um, any of your posts or hearing what you've got to say because we already know if your cup is already full of water or knowledge and you think you've got it and you understand it you can't put any more information or water in that cup it's just gonna overflow Oh, my cup's empty or or a little bit in it. I've got plenty of room. You always got to keep learning. You've always got to keep um, thinking about things differently. Just because if you've locked in on something and then other people have got different ideas or other opinions and you just shut the door and go, nope, nope, we've already got it because Google said this is how it should be made. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. You guys think that I should present that, like my stuff like that? I mean, good on you. But this is focused on organized stuff. Oh, what does that say here? What is organized? Think of organized pair as a filter, but not W. See, this is another thing. Like they say, um, they're good to say how it should be made, what it actually does. It does it by this, this, this is how it works. You need this, you need this, and it has to be like this. Otherwise, it doesn't work. They're good to say all that stuff. I would love to obtain that. I don't want to buy it. This will be a waste of money. I've got other stuff that I'll, I'll be testing as well. But that is on par with just the fake pyramids. That's just a fake, fake one. It's not organized. All right, so this is just looks like a bit of glitter, like the blue specks of glitter. You've got like that would looks to me like soda light in there. It could be you know, it looks more soda light than um, lapis. Um, then you got bits of copper and stuff. You got a coil that does next to nothing. That specific one anyway. SBBs are better. Yeah, so this stuff's everywhere. All right. And the list just goes on because you can just go, go, go. Pick another um, either website or like um, um, 
whatever, like, oh, that's the bottom. Apparently that's the bottom for Organite in this, all right? So go off with a bang. But yeah, it's just no good. It's just no good. They look pretty, all right? But they're not. What's that, Peridot? It looks like that. Maybe you got black. It could be obsidian. It could be black tourmaline. It could be whatever. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Peridot is green, yeah. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do, let's see if... Um... I just need to pause this for a second. Right now, so if you don't know um, what I'm talking about with these effects and these tests and whatever, um, that's all good. We're going to have a look. This is some of our work, some of our stuff, okay? So this is a mini charge player. It's around 10 centimeters across in diameter, about that, or 9.5. It's very close to 10. Um, you've got a vortex coil in the middle. Um, not all our stuff has vortex coils. They're not 100% necessary to get good quality organ field um, that's going to actually work but they do help amplify it, all right? So that's what they're there for, all right? So now the effects that I'm talking about with the lemon. So this is was used in the test. So you can get to see it there on the left, um, but this this lemon on the left close to the charge plate, that's what was used. Um, this is the lemon used. So this is the same lemon, the, the one on the right, completely covered in mold, it's the same lemon just cut directly in half, as neatly as I can, as even as I can, okay? And just one's on there and one's, one's on the charge plate and one isn't okay it's distance maybe a meter and a half distance away from it so it doesn't interfere and this is the result all right like i say a little bit of mold on the fleshy part there uh, so this is just the other side flips a little bit of mold on the fleshy side there but that's expected because you're cutting it and exposing the fruit it's going to oxidize it's exposed to air but severely reduced and then um um, if you get that lemon that's really moldy in that bag, it's disgusting to touch. It's so much more wetter and moist and all the rest of it, but it squishes in. It just caves in. It just wants to break apart. It's equivalent to uh, if you're, you know, you know meat when it's cooked really well and it just falls off the bone and just pulls off the bone. It's, it's like that. <laughs> it's like so soft it just wants to break apart and fall fall apart. All right, that's what it's like. Um, the other, the other lemon that was on the organite plate, completely different story. It's as firm as if I just freshly picked it off the tree. It's that firm, all right? And it's not it's not shrinking or anything like that. And there's just a few dots of uh, specks on the, on the top. The bottom of it, the back, the skin, no mold at all. What you see on there is from as it was on the tree. You get to see that is not mold. That's, that's just damage from the tree and whatever, like as if it's grown like that. So, um, yeah, let's just look at some of our stuff. Now, what we can do here, this is an organite plate. This is much more larger. It's probably bigger than my hand or as bad as good size of my hand, all right? It's decent size. It's weighty, like over a kilo sort of thing. Um, yeah, so vortex coil in there. You've got a typical mix, all the rest of it. Now, to structure water, this is pretty much our setup right now. This is at our, our place, right? Uh, this is what we do. We've got an organite charge plate. We've got a large vessel of water. I don't know how many mils or um, ounces or, or liters. I, I think it's about 10 liters. Yeah, I think it's about 10 liters. So if you can convert that, whatever. Not that that matters. Anyway, charge plate is having a profound effect on the water. There is ingredients in there that has profound effects on water. Okay, it, there is. This is what it's all about. So when you wear this all our organite mixes are the same these days because we don't want to go backwards we don't want to make some stronger than others what we've found works so that mix is in everything all right so that charge plate and, and wearing this here has a profound effect on water what is our body primarily made of water mostly water um your lymph system your blood circulating your heart's pumping um it's all circulating the water and all the rest of it and all the cells they're happy that it's They'll pick soaking up this energy, okay? Now, that's having a profound effect on water. So you're energetically structuring it, treating the water. It's addressing the homeopathy of the water, the water clustering molecules. You're consuming that already in a better place, 
already in a better uh, maturity of water, quality water, energized water. You're consuming that. So you've already got a head start. And then, then your body. If you wear this all the time, it's going to continue doing that. It's going to help do wonders to your body. We know it preserves fruits and vegetables. So it's going to, I mean, it's very hard to test. I'm not going to, I can't test this, but... From what we've seen in the testing, it might even preserve you. It might even slow down the aging process. It makes all the sense in the world. So this is our setup. Inside there, you've got little bags. You can see these bags. Uh, these bags, that that's Shungite, elite Shungite. Proper, legit, elite Shungite. Not fake stuff. But I make sure it's not fake. You get it from a well-known source. I highly recommend you go to Dancing With Water, their, their website. All right, that's actually where this come from. Now these bags, and I inquired about them because you know um, they've found they've tested the water with these bags and all the rest of it to see if there's any contaminants leaking from the bags. They go, no, they're 100 percent safe. They've had no ill effects. So it's a white because elite shunga, if you know, it's extremely brittle. This just maintains it and just keeps it all in there. So they're absolutely fine to have in your water. Okay, there's three bags in there. Um, so yeah, that's just top view looking straight down at the top. You get to see the coil down through there. Uh, having a profound effect. Very structuring, very protective. Life-giving energy. And Elite Shungite does that as well. We've got Shungite also in our charge plates. That's one of the great ingredients. That's a must in my opinion. Russia, where it comes from. The Russians, they, they've done lots of extensive research on this. Why wouldn't you? It's only found in your country. It's yours. <laughs> so if you got something unique, you need to study it. You need to look at it, which is what they've done. And they're heavy invested in pyramid energy and more this like orgone or what they call it, tachyon energy or something like that, torsion fields or something. So yeah, so that's our water setup, right? And we just use a filtered rainwater. We collect rainwater at a rainwater tank. Uh, and the filter is just a plain old carbon filter Basically, all that's doing, and I know it's not the best filter, all it's primarily doing is getting the thicker particles out of the bird poo and whatever, like dirt and stuff like that. But changing it and structuring it energetically is uh, having a profound effect on it. All right. Um, just a pyramid. Like I say, we're going to get into pyramids. So this pyramid here, something like this, although it's not, um, most of this pyramid is clear. It is. It is clear. Um. But something like that, whatever the pyramids we've seen, will outdo them tenfold. Easy. Um, that's what I would be saying. Now, this is a mini charge plate size. Like I was saying, uh, similar to the one that was um, in that lemon test. Okay, similar to that size. Um, but this, this would have a greater effect because of the bigger coil. A large charge plate, so it's big as my hand or bigger than my hand. Um, just showing you some different stuff. Another large charge plate, another large charge plate. These ones here were very popular. Um, I haven't produced too many of these, but when I do and I put them up, they sell. Um, so something like this would have an even greater field, a greater radius, a greater effect. All right, More organite, more bang for your buck. Um, the layout, the coil, the crystals um, chosen, all the stuff that's in the organite matrix, it's not just one or two ingredients. We have a whole host and a whole process of what we do to it, all right? That I'm never gonna get into, okay? That's ours, that's our property, that's our um, creation, um, and we're gonna stick with that. All right, so oh, this is what I did literally today. Before this video, Some a customer, so this is a rodent cord, was a pendant, he requested, he's like, can you, he doesn't want it as a necklace cord, he won't wear it or whatever or them, like maybe it's female, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they want it as more of a, I guess, a keychain or something to attach, be able to be attached to maybe a bag or something. That's what they wanted. So no worries, cut it off. I did this and they're, they're so happy they're over the moon with this um, and I just put it on a key ring. So we can do this sort of stuff upon request. All right. Powered devices, you get to see what's included there. I'm not gonna read it out, but everything is included. You've got a power supply, you can plug it into the wall. If you're not in Australia and say you're US, all you get is a little tiny adapter. They're literally like a dollar or two dollars. They're very inexpensive. You have AU in to your country out. So AU to um, US plug. Plug straight in the wall, can use it. If not, anything that takes USB. 
anything. So it could be a laptop, could be a iPad, could be a phone, phone bank, uh, sorry, a uh, power bank that you, whatever. All right. So you can make it fully portable. All right. You can just carry it with you. You got your power source as your power bank. Now, rodent cores like this, pendants, they are fully customizable. All right. So you can go to our Etsy shop. You click this page that looks like this. It says down the bottom, design your own like that. Literally, we've got so many colors, maybe 20 or 30 colors. <clears throat> you can mix and match. I've just knocked out, uh, made a heap of, I'm actually making today, made a heap of cores. So someone chose black and gold. Someone chose uh, blue and silver, maybe blue and gold. Someone chose purple and amethyst. Um, so one's like a real bright in your face purple. One's more of a darker purple. There's, and then there's a couple of, someone chose red and co natural copper color. Someone chose... We've done a whole heap of them. So people can choose. You can choose your primary color and your secondary color. All of these ones here have a primary and secondary color, okay? You can pick. You can, and, and they all come with a um, MDOA on the back, all right? So multi-wave oscillator. This is known to help heal, heal damaged cells in the body. Also having a profound effect on um, plant growth, stuff like that, structuring water, protection, uh, from EMFs and shit like that, stuff like that. Sorry, guys, if I don't like my swearing, didn't mean it. <laughs> I promise. But yeah, so that's just to take what you want to look for. You don't want to see large metal particles. Like well, typical, you want to stay away from aluminium. All right. Reason being, aluminium, Nikolai Kozirev, the Russian scientist, he found that it partially blocks or does block scalar waves. Same thing as organ, what, organ energy, chi, prana, it partially blocks it. It slows it down or it doesn't allow it to pass through as much. Therefore, you're not getting a grain of field. They claim that, um, um, like, the 50-50 mix has a greater range. Powdered materials like what you see here, what we do, doesn't have much range and it's ineffective and all the rest of it. It's all crap. The 50-50 mix that I've done previously, that um, the the lemon was up against the 50-50 ratio typical organite. It rotted on that side touching, and the other side it did not rot. So it being even that close, and it's their stuff's supposed to have an increased range and a better range and a better feel. It was touching the bloody thing, and it rotted. It rotted on that side that's touching it, all right? So it's not having a good effect. People are throwing these at cell phone towers and stuff like that and burying them in the ground around cell phone towers. If it can't produce a beneficial life-giving field, what do you think it's doing to the cell phone towers? If I made a heap of stuff, I'd be way more confident that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. And that is like, harnessing that energy, bringing it in, and changing it into a beneficial life-giving energy. Test it. Just test, guys, okay? Test. This is what it did. Like, Well, this is a different test, but then I did one with... 50-50, one of our pocket piece organites, just a plain one, not this one, and Versa Control. But this is essentially the same sort of thing that's happened. So ours preserves it way better versus just decaying, rot, not slowing down, just that. All right, that's it. All right, guys. So a little bit of a rant video, I guess. And um, yeah, go ahead, click the links. Um, if you want something, you can message us. We might be able to help you out. We're sort of right now, we're getting swamped with custom orders. People are just wanting it. And we've got to make it, and it takes me longer. Because we're doing it a specific way. These here come, and because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, they come fully polished, fully sanded, fully rounded edges, and polished up. And I do absolutely everything by hand. There's no machinery used, all right? Some people use, yeah, machinery stuff. All right. Well, this one here is not even polished, by the way. This one. It just is what it is because I just need to structure water. All right. But hey, that is it, guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I hope you enjoyed my rant. We had a look on Facebook. Uh, more testing to come. Tensor rings are going to be on the list. Maybe dive into freeze testing. All right. Have a look at that. Um, yeah, and just testing other stuff. I might do other pyramids, not ours, but like maybe a pyramid made in the typical fashion, 
um, verse um, yeah, our organ art, a smaller piece or whatever, and we'll see how that pans out. I know where my money is like that to what's going to happen. Um, I may even be able to borrow some stuff. I know a couple of places, a couple of people that have other organite that uh, I potentially can borrow. One is a charge plate made typically like this big aluminium, stuff like that. There's a bit of brass in there. I think there's a triskelion in there as well. That would be interesting to see. Um, versus ours and also someone else has a pyramid that I potentially can ask and borrow and hopefully I can get a hold of. All right. I'm going to leave it there, guys. That is it. Stay tuned for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.